it is 3 15 in the morning and I wanted to have the palm tree there for you to see because palm trees just make me so happy they are so wonderful love me a palm tree they just make me feel so good and Roxy and I are out taking our come on let's go are out taking our wonderful 2 to 5 a.m. walk that we love 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 to do because she can walk off the leash when there's no traffic and no other dogs and no Karen's out and I'm watching videos as I'm walking around of other RV van folks RVs vans full-time solo females and just enjoying seeing their success and what they've done to uh, to, to create storage space and comfy, cozy space and have the ability to travel around too and getting some inspirations for my videos and titles and things that come up and um, I just feel so good. Uh, feeling the weather. I mean, for God's sake, it's January 9th. And I've got on a sweatshirt and I've got to take it off because I'm hot. And guess what? Flip-flops. That's guess what? I solemnly swear I will never live anywhere that I cannot wear flip-flops every day for the rest of my life. I solemnly swear. So I just want to inspire you to get out and start taking nice walks. And enjoy wherever it is that you are. Now, if you're in a bad neighborhood or, you know, if it's 40 degrees below in a blizzard and, you know, look, let's not look for reasons why something can't happen or can't work or you can't do something. We can make excuses or we can make it happen. So, when people ask, how did you get on the road and do you do this on your own and how much does this cost and how much does that cost? Here's what's costing you. Analysis paralysis. Being stuck in not doing something to move the ball forward. And that could be as simple as getting out and taking a walk when your area is quiet and you can just enjoy the moonlight and for me, a palm tree or a thousand. And just feeling happy and blessed. Because happiness begets happiness. Roxy, hey, over here. Over here. Hey, good girl. Yes, ma'am. She's so good. She's the best dog ever. I actually did laundry earlier today. And I had so many, I had big, uh, everything wrapped up in the blanket. And I was like, I don't know if I can walk her to the laundry and because I can't hold the leash. And But I tied her leash to my belt loop and she knew. She knew that she needed to chill and walk calmly and not pull. Uh, so she's just really good. So don't wait to do something. It's not what you do as much as it's what you be, who you be. Are you being forward thinking? Are you being an RVer before you even have one? Are you being positive and looking for solutions and ways that something can work? Or are you constantly explaining and justifying why it can't? Because truly, we can make excuses or we can make it happen. We can justify where we are and explain why we're where we're at. Or we can simply take control of our situation and do something about it. So be that fearless, what is this? Fearless freedom seeking freak that I know you to be from the coolest hippie chick ever.
And one last thought. <laughs> Man, does this dog get excited when we get in one of these open areas. Come here, baby girl. Hey. Let's go. Roxy. <laughs> this is why. Hey, this is why we take walks. At three in the morning, so she can get out and have fun. Oh my God, she loves it. Yes, she does. <laughs> Amen, sister. Rock on.